We are here today with Matthew Zimmerman, the founder of Far Sounder. Hi, Matt. Hi, Yola. Thanks for having me. Thank you for coming. So what specific challenges in navigation led to the development of your sonars? Well, more than 25 years ago, when we started working on this technology, environmental perspective was really one of our early motivations. I come from New England, which is the home of the North Atlantic right whales, and we wanted to help develop a technology that could help vessels detect whales to avoid ship strike, also detect rocks to avoid hitting them and causing oil spills. Once marine mammal is detected, uh, how much reaction time do you typically have? not to react. We have a, a range of product models with maximum detection ranges of 350 meters all the way out to 1,000 meters ahead of the yacht. So if you're traveling 20 knots at a thousand meters range, that's more than a minute and a half before you reach that thousand meter distance. Do you incorporate AI into Farsounder? We don't have AI per se in our current user software, but we are using AI when operating in larger solutions. For example, we're members of the Whale and Vessel Safety Task Force, also known as WAVES. And the mission of WAVES is to provide a holistic, comprehensive solution across the industries. And so they're doing this by collecting data from shipboard sensors like ours, citizen science, government observations, and so forth. And the goal of this is to aggregate all these observations, which is a lot of information. So there's definitely using AI to help process and, and analyze all of those whale observations. How does the sonar perform in challenging conditions, say murky waters, rough seas, or Arctic regions? Well, that's a great question. All right, we've designed our equipment to work in as many places as possible. Just because you can't see through the water visually doesn't mean that the sonar can't penetrate through. Our equipment is operating on acoustics, but it's safe for the environment and it's safe for whales. And we've done a lot of testing in very turbid waters like the Mississippi and the Moss Rivers in Rotterdam. As far as polar regions go, we have a lot of expedition vessels, whether they're cruise ships, super yachts, smaller yachts, and even uh, Navy vessels. Has Far Sounder partnered with uh, marine conservation organizations or research institutions uh, to enhance data collection? Absolutely. I'm a big believer in enabling our users to make citizen science contributions with very little effort. We started a few years ago collecting depth information and enabling our customers to share with Seabed 2030. So in our software today, not only do we look forward in real time, we also build a map of everywhere you've been. And our customers can choose to anonymously share that map across the fleet. In return, they get the aggregate map from everybody else, and we pass that information along also to Seabed 2030. Over the years, I've been involved in a number of whale research studies, and it's really been an experience that's been transformative and I wanted to find a way to give back to the maritime community. So I've partnered up with uh, Azura, which is a marine mammal observer services company. And we've put together a new online class to help the bridge crews with whale spotting and safe vessel operations. It's really a class of all the things that I've learned through the years when working with whales. And we have brought in a lot of great partners as guest hosts to help present the materials. So for example, International Seakeeper Society, Ocean Wise, Whale Alert, Yacht for Science, Necton, Orca, and the list goes on and on. Really what we wanna do is increase awareness of whales because every whale that we can help save not only is obviously good for the whale, but whales play an important role in regulating and protecting our environment. Much less work than you would hope has been done with whales. Uh, much of the work in the United States and Canada has focused on North Atlantic right whales because there's only about 370 of those remaining, as well as in the Pacific Northwest, the southern resident killer whales. There's only 73 of them left. So these are 
uh, species groups that are incredibly at risk of extinction. So that is something that we as an industry can address by increasing our awareness and learning how to better operate around them. What are your biggest hopes then? I'm a big fan of the why not. So Far Sounders product is really a real-time navigation tool and building a map of everywhere you've been so you can safely navigate when you come back to those locations. But I'm really proud of the work we're doing to help enable all of these citizen science efforts. It's a way that the crew and the vessels can contribute to global conservation efforts without changing their day-to-day -day activities, without changing what they're normally doing on the bridge. And to me, that's the why not.